but when you implement in bubble i think uh, in my personal opinion i think whereby is more robust and more user friendly than other platforms so uh what we are going to, how we are going to implement it we are going to implement it in three simple steps the first step would be to get the api from whereby the second step would be to connect it in api connector which is in bubble which is a bubble plugin or like uh, how you connect apis and then we will make the room and start so simple so let's uh, let's start so first thing first we are going to have the api so i'm going to call it bubble tutorial for example tutorial save i'm going to copy the api once the api is copied i will come to the api connector i will call it for example whereby i will give it authentication private key in header okay it's all set here then i'm going to give this a uh, key name private underscore private underscore key and i'm going to give the i'm going to give the api here bearer okay and then i'm going to add a header which is the same thing which is called authorization or i'm going to copy the spelling from here just to make it uh, okay i will copy the api also paste it here and now our api is set the only thing we need is to add which kind of data we want to pull from this api right so we are going to so we are with the the data we are going to send from here to create the uh, to create the room so we are going to give uh, we are going to the api called post uh, we call it for example get whereby meeting here we will give the parameter so this one and we will use it as an action this is very important because we would have to trigger from our workflows right so uh, this should be action we are going to add five parameters here nothing too difficult so for example start date uh, end date uh, we call it fields f i l d s these are the things you can find in the uh, whereby documentation so i don't think i need to explain them so for example normal this should be room mode room name pattern human dash short so human dash short so these are the two two things that we doesn't want them to be private and we are going to give a date so in the start date you can give the date in the past so for example as i gave the gen 01 1970 but in the end date it needs to be in the in, in the future so what i'm going to do i'm just going to change it to aug uh, give the date to for example Zero five, and I'm gonna give the year twenty twenty two. Amazing. Now let's try initialize the call. Okay, so we have a we have a error which is called end date is required. So I have given the end date, bro, not in caps. So initialize the call, and it has created a room. Okay, so it works quite great. We are gonna save it. So let's just put it to date just in case. Google makes an issue. Cool, amazing. So now we come to our this page, and we are gonna add a button here. So I'm gonna add a button here. Gonna make it in the center. Give some margins so that we can find it better. Okay, we are gonna call it start the call. Amazing. And in the workflow, what we are gonna do? We are gonna go to plugins. here we have the action as we put it in the action not in the data so that's why we have it here we are going to put it here it's going to ask us some parameters the start date end date so we are going to we are just going to give it current date time for example uh current date time minutes uh minutes plus 1 for example and we are going to give it current date time plus 10 for example you can give it whatever you like so next thing next uh, what we are going to do we are going to set a uh... okay so now what is happening every time this button will be press a new room will be created okay 
So what we are, I'm going to do create a new thing. I have this database, which is called where by call, you can call it whatever you want again. So and I'm going to do, I'm going to add all the fields link for the call, which I'm going to create in one second and uh, where by start date. So result of step one, uh, start, uh, sorry, end date, this should be end date, result of step one should be start date, call link. So result of step one, uh, room URL and result of step one, for example. So let's call it, give it meeting ID in case if we need it. So now uh, what will happen every time this button will be pressed, a new, a new room will be generated, but the call will not start. Why the call will not start? Because we did not give a, uh, for example, daily has a plugin, which you can put it on the, on the, on the page. We did not give it anything. We did not provide anything for this page. So what we are going to do, we are going to do the HTML and we are going to give this URL, which you can find again in the docs. Okay, so here, as you can see in the RS R, in the source, we have this URL, right? So this is the URL we need. So what we are going to do, we are going to take, for example, we are going to create one only room and we are going to take only from there. So we do do a search for whereby call a uh, link for the call. No. link for the call first item. Amazing. And I'm going to put in the center. I'm going to give it zero, zero, no fit to content zero I'm gonna take it away. And I'm going to give it, give it a uh, width, width equals hundred percent. Request permission, allow, join meeting, and the meeting is going on. So I cannot uh, share my, uh, for example, camera because I am doing streaming here. So, but yeah, that's how you can connect it. Uh, let me know in the comments if you have any, any questions and let's stay connected. Bye. Have a good day.